In today's video, we're checking out this beautiful Sur three-tone Sunburst Alt-T Thinline Telecaster. This is nice and light. I'm gonna showcase this in the context of a backing track, and then we'll go over to some isolated tones. If you wanna check this out, I'll link it down to Jerry's Left to Guitars in the description below. Let's get into it. Here's the guitar up close. Now, one of the huge advantages to a thin line style electric is their weight. This is far lighter than a conventional Telecaster. So if you're looking for something that's not gonna break your back at a gig and you'll be standing up for a long period of time, this would be a really great choice. Surf really nailed the whole traditional style, but with modern appointments. One of the ways that they've done this is by adding a contoured heel here. It really makes getting all the way up to the end of the fretboard far, far easier. This Thinline Telecaster is loaded with a great sounding set of humbuckers. These are far better than your standard reissue 72 Thinline, for example. These just on a whole different level. But what also sets it apart from a lot of other similar models is the fact we get a five-way toggle switch down here. And what this allows us to do is get coil tap modes on both of the pickups or together as well. There's plenty of tonal combinations within this guitar, and I think it sounds great even in those split coil modes. So I've also added a really nice neck. This is right between the feel of a 50s and a 60s neck. So it's not super fat, but it does have a little bit of a chunk. It's right up my alley. So I've added their very own locking tuners to this guitar, which gives you the confidence to know it's not gonna go out of tune. And throughout the entirety of this video, it's been really reliable. A massive thank you to Jerry from Jerry's Lefty Guitars here in Sarasota, Florida for letting me come in and review some of his guitars. I really appreciate it. If you wanna check this out, I'll link it down below. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off. In today's video, I'm plugged into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with a Celestion Vintage 30 speaker. We're gonna start clean on the neck pickup in humbucker mode. Here we go. Over to neck pickup in split coil. Over to both pickups, which is both in humbucker mode. Now over to bridge 
position in split coil mode. And lastly, over to bridge pickup in humbucker mode. So that bridge pickup definitely has a lot of attitude. It also has a fair bit of output as well, especially in that humbucker mode. Let's try the guitar now with a little bit of dirt thanks to the VS Audio Royal Flush. I'm just using the left hand side. This is bridge pickup in humbucker mode. <laughs> Over to both pickups in humbucker mode. That's nice and balanced. And over to neck pickup again in humbucker mode. Beautiful. And lastly, with a little bit of additional gain and some analog delay, thanks to the prisoner from Jux, we're gonna go for the split coil on the bridge pickup. Here we go. And over to the neck. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this Sir T-Style electric guitar. So the first thing, the tones. There's a lot of usable tones in here, but I think the main reason you buy this is because of the humbucker tones. They're really, really usable and great. Bridge pickup sounds unreal on its own. Both humbucker positions sound great, and neck on its own sounds good, clean, and dirty. So you're getting a very functional guitar. Out of all the other combinations, I didn't mind the bridge pickup with that sort of split coil sound. The output was still very reminiscent of the overall output in humbucker mode, whereas on position four, which is this one in split coil, it did drop the volume slightly. But overall, I mean, playability wise, the neck in the hand feels great. It's kind of like a great compromise between a 50s and 60s neck. It's a little fatter than a 60s, but not quite as big as your old school 50s Telecaster. One of the modern appointments that Sir have added is the contoured heel back here. It allows you to get right up to the end of the fretboard and play really easily. Another thing I noticed with this guitar is it feels really great when you start really bending the strings. There's no choking out, it's very well controlled. I also really dig the three saddle bridge down here as well as opposed to what you'd find a lot of modern tellies where they give you the six. That's the personal choice thing, but it's a really great sort of hybrid between the old school tally design and something very different. It's nice and light as well. So overall, it's a great sounding guitar. I probably just wasn't the biggest fan of the neck pickup with that split coil sound, but all of the others are really functional. And depending on your amp, pedals, all that kind of stuff, you might prefer that over the bridge option as well, but there's plenty of good tones in here. So if you want to check this out, I'll link it down to Jerry's. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.